You know, you say a real men cry when you were talking about yes. the Olympics. One of the things that was beautiful about being at your house was listening to you talk about Kichi. Yes. Uh, we had Gail King on the show who also, they told me. Who also knew her. She spoke um, mm -hmm. very highly of her. Uh, you spoken about the mother of your children who also yes. passed. How do those losses of people you love affect you? Yeah, we don't want to talk about that. We're going to get through this. That's, 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 that's tough because she's my best friend. People really wouldn't understand that people like your drivers and your assistants are your best friend. Kichi was the only person in life that I can talk about anything to that knew my deepest secrets. There was no male or female in my life that I told more stuff to than her. The only Super Bowl she really wanted to go to was the one in Las Vegas. She was so happy. For her 50th birthday, she wanted to go to Aruba. We was gonna have a big party for her. I was able to take her to 100 countries. Um, she taught me a lot. She helped me a lot. Through rain, sleet, snow, or hell, she had my back. Like I said before, if my life didn't go like it went, I would have never met her. So everything plays out for a reason. And um, it's just like we talk about just music, the black culture, the Filipino culture. She took me to the Philippines and um, put me in a position I made. And not even the money, because um, my assistant, I put her in a position she didn't even want. I could have got her a business, whatever she wanted. That's not what she wanted. All my assistant wanted to do was support me and help me be the best man that I can be. And she wanted my kids just to be positive, and she was a positive person. And I always wanted her. She worked so much. All I ever wanted her to do was find a husband. And I think about work and just give herself breathing room sometimes. All she wanted to do, to do was what they call it, um, FOMO, fear of missing out. What a lot of people don't know, we was in Dubai in my room. And I was talking to her. And I was talking to um, somebody else. I don't know who it was, but I know I was talking to her. And I told her this. I said, when I tell, I said, y'all have to listen to me. I said, because if you go, it's going to be too late for you not to listen to me. Within six days, she was gone. So the, the word, you know what I mean? Powerful sometimes, word. Powerful words sometimes. But I was just telling her that because I want her to take care of herself. Because a lot of times, like I talk about a, a, a vehicle, like I can have a Rolls Royce. Like I, we got a Rolls Royce that I came here in, right? You can't just put gas in a Rolls Royce and wash it. It has to be serviced, just like the body. So when we get to a certain age, we still think it's all we, you know, women think all we, I put my lashes on, put my, my makeup on, put my heels on, you know, get manicure, pedicure, but you still got to, you still have to service the body. And she was at my house. And she said, it's okay for Courtney to work on me. Courtney is the team doctor. She traveled with us too. I said, of course, Courtney can work with you. So for a couple of days, Courtney was working on her. I seen her working on her back, massaging her. Okay, so Floyd Mayweather, he was on Pivot Podcast. And he had a lot of things to say. And they asked him about when he lost in the Olympics and he started to cry. 
Then they say, we just talked about crying. You lost your assistant a couple of weeks ago. And that's when Floyd started to shed tears for real. And I was actually sad to see because this woman, she's from the Philippines. And she actually came to USA when she was 11 years old. She's been living in America since. And she didn't want to party. She didn't want to do anything. She just wanted to be with Floyd and help him in his life. And he's saying that he, she actually helped him in his life a lot and she was the go-to person whenever he wanted to talk because a lot of men they don't have anyone to talk with especially not with their boys so it was actually someone that he could uh, trust and he said a lot of things to her a lot of secrets and Floyd is going through right now because he has lost a lot of people in a short amount of time he lost his children's mom and then he lost his grandmother and then Roger Mayweather and now his assistant and prior to that, a couple of years ago, he lost his best friend because his best friend's girl had cheated on him with Trey songs. I don't wish this on anyone, so make sure to leave a comment and like this video. And watch next videos, I got for y'all.